Hello and welcome to Crank Your Dam Just to 11. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the Cansporter, uh, which has proved to be a very uh, useful device for us. Um, I don't think my opinion of it is ever going to change unless it suddenly breaks on me, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's a very simple device and uh, it does its job uh, w wonderfully. Um, the Cansporter is made to transport trash uh, or recycling to the streets and it transports the whole can if you have a can of trash. Of course if you live in the city and you have a small you know small facilities or small containers then you're fine but if you live uh, more in the country and you need to take the trash to the street um, this is really great. Uh, we have a 600 foot long driveway um, I measured it on Google Maps and it's about 200 meters if you work in metric uh, measurements. Um, in the summer when there's foliage on all the trees we cannot see the street from our house. In the winter we can see it uh, because the foliage is not there. Um, so, so we have to take care of taking the trash and the recycling to the street. This is our driveway. And then a demonstration of the Cansporter. Uh, you release it with the, by turning this little device and then pushing on it and then pulling back. And then you're going to see a demonstration of putting the can back on the Cansporter. So I have to switch the lever to release it and then put the can back on. And then you have a demo of the device by itself. It's very easy to operate. Uh, you just have to remember you need to switch the little lever depending on what you want to do. And then the device uh, just by itself uh, so you can see it from all angles. Oh, and I do notice I have the extension on the on the UTV. For the recycling, the recycling is picked up by the county, so we always uh, had to take the recycling to the street and have the county pick it up. Uh, and that has never changed. Um, for the trash, we used to put it in the truck and then drive the truck to the dump and and empty it there. And the dump is about five minutes away from us. And sometimes people are like, oh, the dump is five minutes away from where you live. You, you know, maybe you smell things. We don't smell anything. Um, I don't know if it's because they designed the dump uh, to prevent that, or uh, you know, because they're not actually um, putting stuff in the ground there. They put stuff in trucks and then they take it somewhere else. I know they've put stuff in the ground there, but I don't know if they're doing it. Right now, I think they're not doing it. Um, they have to, to uh, take it, take the, the trash somewhere else. Um, then the pandemic struck, uh, and I decided that it was not a good idea for us to be in that environment during the pandemic. Uh, at the very start of the pandemic, we got the permit to be able to go to the, to the dump because they had pretty much closed down the dump to anything that uh, was not strictly necessary uh, and they considered it for us it was necessary but eventually I switched to a private company to pick up our trash from the street and take it to the dump um, because I just didn't want to be uh, there and I cannot say that they seem to be completely on the ball uh, with masks and everything at the dump um, maybe they are now, I don't know, but I went from, it went from just protecting ourselves from the pandemic to me having cancer and not wanting to be in that environment. Um, so we switched to a private company. Um, so to get the trash to the street, we have multiple options. One option is just to walk it to the street and we've, we've done it sometimes and my wife more than I have. Um, so it's possible, but it tends to be tiresome to take it to, to the street. And of course, if you are under chemo and you have a lymphoma and 
you have uh, energy problems, you don't want to do that. Um, another thing we've done for quite a while, actually, until the start of the pandemic, because I bought the, the device at the start of the pandemic. So until the start of the pandemic, for maybe f four or five years, um, what, what I was doing was to just lift uh, the recycling can into the bed of my uh, UTV. Uh, and that's also doable, and I could have done that also with the trash, uh, because remember, the trash, we used to take it ourselves to the dump, and then when the pandemic started, we started uh, wanting to have a company do it for us. Uh, so I could lift the can and put it in a bit of, of um, the UTV, but uh, this is this works fairly well under the best of conditions. So if you if your trash is not too heavy um, or your recycling is not too heavy, you can fairly easily do it. But there were times, even with the recycling, where I thought like, oh my god, I'm you know, this is a, you have to lift it up from the ground and put it in the bed. It's it's a bit of work. Uh, it's not good for my back. Uh, I had um, a fight <laughs> with a tree a few years ago, and uh, the tree won. No, I cut. I did cut the tree, and the tree didn't win, but uh, it did leave a mark um, because I have a bulge in my back. It's not a hernia yet, I think, from what I hear from the doctors. It's just a bulge, but sometimes it can hurt. So it's better for me not to do that. Um, and then if you are in treatment for lymphoma and you're getting chemo, well, good luck to, to you trying to get the can in the bed of the UTV because uh, you're going to... Uh, <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how you can do it. I didn't do it when I was in, in treatment, actually. My wife was taking care of everything. Uh, so you can walk it, you can put it in the bed of your UTV, or you can attach a can supporter to your UTV or to... Uh, your truck or to your ATV even if you have an ATV I think you, you could do it I don't do it I put it on my UTV or I've used it a little bit on the truck but I um, I prefer to just put it on the UTV and um, and, and do it that way uh, I researched other devices and I've seen other devices that looked interesting but in the end I selected the can sporter um, I don't remember how it compared with other devices. I don't use them and I don't know how well they perform. Maybe somebody will come in the comments and say, well, I use this thing and I find it great. I'm, I'm happy that you find it great, but I just use a Canceport. I haven't bought all the devices that they have out there and, and tried to use them. I should show you um, the site for it. So yeah, I have bought the single card carrier uh, because our trash and our recycling are on different days. So I don't need e ever to take two cans to the street at the same time. I could have bought the dual card carrier if I had two cans to take at the same time to the street, but uh, that was not necessary for me. A single card carrier does the work. And so this is the device I bought. I didn't buy any of their, their other pieces because in my estimate, I don't think it was cost effective. I did buy from Amazon a, um, actually maybe it's just cost effective, I don't know. Uh, or maybe, yeah, this is 18 inches. Their extender is 12 inches there. So I think it was a matter of length more than price. I did buy a, an 18 inch long, uh, hitch extension and as I recall I need to use this on my uh, UTV I just ins I, I installed it and I didn't look at it afterwards I don't remember but I think it's just on the UTV I need to do that on the truck I'm I'm fine with just ins uh, adding the can supporter uh, to the truck and I'm going to put links in the description um, to uh, to tell you where I, I, I bought these things um, and I can put it on the UTV or the truck, but one of the disadvantages of moving it from, from one vehicle to the other for me is that if I do that, I need to take the device and put it on the other uh, machine. 
And also I need to readjust the bolts on it to uh, change the height of the device because my truck and my UTV are not, uh, don't end up at the same height. Um, so I don't do it very often. I've tried it, I've done it, I've tried it because I wanted to make sure that we could use it on the truck if the UTV was gone to the shop for some reason. Um, so we can do it, but I generally don't want uh, to, to do it. I just leave it on the UTV. Um, let me get my notes. Um, so you, so yeah, if you, if you buy the device by itself, you may need to, um, also buy an extender to, to be able to get it to reach out from under the bed of your UTV or your truck or anything that you already have. Um, I, I was a little bit concerned because I, it's an extension behind the, the UTV. I was a little bit concerned about bottoming out on the, on the gravel when, because we have a hill, a little bit of a hill to go out of, uh, of our driveway. Uh, and that, that, that did not happen. I've not bottomed out anywhere. Um, and I mentioned before, we don't take the two cans at the same time. What happens is that recycling is on Tuesdays and trash is on Wednesdays. So on Tuesday, I take the recycling to the street. And then on Wednesday, I take the trash to the street and I take the recycling back. And then on Thursday, I take the trash back from the street. Um, and so I never have two cans on the, UT, uh, on the UTV at the same time. Um, so this is what is it for the can spotter. I'm going to say goodbye and uh, see you next episode. <laughs>